This first question is kind of an annoying word problem, but the actual math involved is pretty simple. It's just a percentage question. So just kind of make sure you're going in that you are looking for the right numbers. They say there's 55 students in the class. Uh, they're asked whether they intend to enroll in a program. Of those surveyed, 20% 20 20 responded that they intend to enroll in the study program. So it sounds like we're going to be taking 20% of 55. But I would check one more thing. What does the actual question say? Based on this survey, which of the following is the best estimate of the total number of Spanish club students who intend to enroll in the study program. So it is exactly what we would expect, but I do know that the SAT tends to switch things sometimes, so I wouldn't have been surprised there if they asked us, in, asked us instead for the 80% who did not intend to enroll. That's just a classic SAT move, but because this is pretty straightforward, we can just use the open formula, which is how I find percentages. The original number of students is 55. The percentage is 20, so we put that as a decimal, and that's going to give us our new value, which is just going to be what the answer is. So uh, 55 times 0.2, just using my regular calculator, and I get 11, and that is the answer. Very straightforward, but notice that even still, even for the first question, I was using my uh, knowledge of the SAT to hunt for traps, to think about traps, and to play defense against them so that I wouldn't lose points unnecessarily.